Hello everyone, I'm Animus J, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we are gonna be talking about this beautiful thing right here, and that is an enchanted apple, or otherwise known as a notch apple. So when I first started playing Minecraft, I found one of these notch apples, and I had no idea what it did. I asked around on the server, and people kept telling me to just eat it and find out. And I was afraid to do so. I felt like it was a super valuable thing. And I just put it in a chest and literally never ever used it. So today we're going to cover all the things that a notch apple is and does and where to find it. But this is going to apply to all versions of Bedrock Edition only. And basically all that means is it'll apply to all editions except for Java Edition. So if you're on Xbox, PlayStation 4... Pocket Edition, Switch, and Windows 10 Edition, Bedrock Editions. All of those are Bedrock Editions, and this will work for all of you. So where do we find these things? We find them in these beautiful structures right here, which is a woodland mansion. As if woodland mansions weren't already hard enough to find as it was though, there is only a 3.1% chance that there will be a notch apple inside of your woodland mansion. So when you're ready to brave all the very extremely dangerous, probably some of the most dangerous mobs in the game, go ahead and make your way to a woodland mansion and find a room that has a chest in it. There are multiple rooms that do have chests, but this is the one that I found first. And um, y yeah, I, I just put it in there. <laughs> I wasn't about to generate a thousand worlds just looking for a notch apple that naturally generated. So once you have found a notch apple, which that is the layman's terms for it, that is what everybody calls it due to Notch, the creator of the game, Minecraft, what exactly does it give you? So I'm gonna go over what this gives us, but keep in mind, this may not be exact since one, things are changing all the time, but two, even the Minecraft wiki is wrong about some of this information. So once I eat this bad boy, we get regeneration five for 30 seconds, we get resistance for five minutes, fire resistance for five minutes, and we get absorption level four for two minutes. So let's first talk about what each of these effects do on their own. I've given myself absorption level four, and you can see that it's given me these extra golden hearts that you see above my normal red hearts. Now, if I take damage, it's going to take away those golden hearts first before it takes away my normal red hearts. So essentially what it does is it gives you a little bit of extra life. Now, some things that you should note about these extra hearts is that when you are poisoned, it does not take away from your extra hearts. It goes straight for your normal hearts. And the same thing applies to the withering effect. If you get withered or poisoned, it will not take your golden hearts it will only take your normal hearts but when your normal hearts run out you will be dead so taking a look at regeneration level 5 what this does is it regenerates your hearts by half a heart every six ticks and what that equates to is an insane amount of health for example if I wither myself you can see that my regeneration is keeping me at full health if I poison myself and wither myself I'm still staying at complete full health. As a matter of fact, I can stand in lava, wither myself, poison myself, and still be completely fine with regeneration level five on me. Next up on our list is fire resistance. And what fire resistance does is, well, <laughs> makes you resistant to fire. Pretty obvious, right? So that means I can jump in lava and you can see it's like I'm not even here other than the fact that I'm moving quite slowly. It does not hurt me at all. And just a little fun fact, these blaze actually shoot fire, which means that you are impervious to their attacks with fire resistance. That's right. You can go and you can build your blaze spawner up into whatever you want it to be. And these guys will not harm you even a little bit. In order to demonstrate resistance, which gives us an overall 20% reduction on all damage sources, we are going to go face to face with a creeper wearing only diamond armor and no resistance first. So without any effects, we spawn in the creeper, let him blow us up, and well, we lived. We lived with four hearts after we landed, but I think in total he did five and a half it was. 
Now that we have resistance on us, let's go ahead and repeat the same experiment. And you can see we took a bit less damage that time. Just as a side note, the one thing that resistance cannot reduce your damage for is falling in the void. And the last thing that is unique to enchanted apples only is if you combine them with a piece of paper, you get a banner pattern. And what that banner pattern will give you is a very unique design on your banner that can only be given to you through an enchanted apple. You can also use enchanted apples for anything that you use normal golden apples for, which includes healing zombie villagers, feeding horses, breeding horses, growing horses, all of those things. But why would you waste a perfectly wonderful enchanted apple on something you can use a normal golden apple for? Well, that's it for today's video. I do hope that it helped you out. If it did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. That's it. I'm Animus J. I'll see you in the next video.